Welcome everybody, Chef David here from the New Wave Kitchen Studio. I'm gonna to talk to you real quick about our NutriPot electric pressure cooker. We have what I think one of the best and one of the safest on the market. One of the questions, believe it or not, I get asked all the time through social media or through our websites is how to make hard boiled eggs in electric pressure cooker. Well, I'm gonna show you real quick, it couldn't be simpler. As a matter of fact, in the morning when I wake up, even before I start my coffee, I get my eggs in, close the lid, I set it, then I start my day. When I come back, I've got hard boiled eggs for either breakfast or to bring to work for lunch. So real quick, we're gonna start with our rack. And all I do is just put it in the bottom. Now, something you need to know, and I've seen this on YouTube, kind of confuses people, the eggs do not have to lay flat, at least not in the NutriPot. And in the six quart, I've got up to 32 eggs in here and made hard boiled eggs beautifully. So all I'm doing real quick is I lay them down, try not to break them when they're raw, obviously, and just put them in, right? The eggs are cold, pot's cold, my house is cold, everything's cold, even the coffee's still cold. We're gonna get these in, right? And one cup of water goes right in. Now if you have a, a grandma uh -huh. trick at home where you put certain things in with your hard boiled eggs to make them easier to peel, have at it, knock yourself out, I don't do it. What I am gonna do is close the lid that simply, make sure it's locked. I'm gonna go to my canning button and I'm gonna drop it all the way down six minutes. I'm gonna hit start. It's gonna preheat. Once it preheats, it's gonna hit the six minute mark, count down, and then we're gonna have some eggs. Give me a few minutes and we'll come back and we'll show you how to peel one. All right, welcome back everybody. Chef David here at the New Wave Kitchen Studio and we're showing you, by your request, how to do simple hard boiled eggs in the NutriPot electric pressure cooker. Now there's a lot of information out on YouTube and on the internet on how to cook eggs in the electric pressure cookers that are out there, but you guys have killed me with the request so I'm gonna show you right now. So what I'm gonna do now is tell you first of all why I use the canning button. And the simple reason is this, as part of our pre-programming, when canning ends, the unit doesn't go on to warm. It shuts off basically, and then we have two choices, either a quick release of the steam or natural release, but with eggs, we want a quick release. Uh, if I had been on anything else, even with the six minute time, it would automatically go to warm. So this beeps, shuts it off, the unit immediately begins to cool down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quick release the steam. I love that sound. My son loves it, I don't know why. He always laughs when I do that. It takes about a minute to let the steam go. But if you've ever had a question about quick releasing a pressure cooker, or natural releasing a pressure cooker, that's the difference. The quick release steam is quickly removed. The natural release, basically the unit is turned off, unplugged, and we just let it sit. Don't touch it, don't play with it, and the steam will release itself over time, usually a few hours. All right? So again, with our Sherlock system, we make sure all this is out. We have a couple of really good safety features on this unit. Um, if all the steam's not out, you're not opening this unit, okay? Opens right up, steam's out. Now, a couple of things that I do with my hard boiled eggs, you can use some ice water, you can just open the lid, and actually one of the things I love about our NutriPot, it's one of the few on the market, the lid actually comes off easily, goes back on easily. Set that off to the side, let it cool, and now I've got some freedom, I don't have to worry about hitting the lid. One of the things I like to do, because usually in the morning, uh, I'm in a rush to get out the door. If I want to bring eggs to work, I drop them gently in a little ice bath, this is, our, this is actually new from us. It's silicone heat resistant up to 500 degrees, but I love the size of this one because it gets right in there, scoops up eggs beautifully. Get them in there, let them cool off. You could also just leave the lid off, turn the unit, unplug it, and just let them cool off naturally on the countertop or actually right in the unit. Uh, but again, I like to get mine cold a little faster. And then also on my way out the door with my morning coffee, I also like to have an egg. So very simple, what I do, I give it a crack and a roll, and then you can just peel them right open. They come right off. My crack, I think my crack on this one was a little, but if you do them in an electric pressure cooker, and I'm gonna tell you as a chef for 30 years, one of the things that has always driven me crazy was peeling hard boiled eggs. I've never actually been very good at it. Uh, Eggshells, save them, they go in your compost. If you have chickens like we do, or like I do, uh, they love these eggshells because of the calcium, very good for them. So here's our egg, look, a little sea salt, cup of coffee, black pepper, chef's out the door in the morning on the way to work. NutriPot electric pressure cooker, six minutes, how to cook hard boiled eggs.